Here are army cutworms feeding on leaf tissue of a wheat plant. They begin feeding when it is above 32 degrees. Scouting is important. They will not likely be found in treatable levels in every field. When scouting for these pests, they are likely found in close proximity to grassy areas such as CRP and pasture. They prefer alfalfa and wheat, but have been known to be found on triticale and other spring grassy crops. The larval damage first appears as a window pane or square holes cut on the leaf. As the larvae grow, they cut the leaf tips off when feeding, giving the wheat a jagged appearance. There is only one generation of army cutworms per year. Here are the economic thresholds. For poor, drought-stressed wheat, apply treatment when one to two larvae are found per square foot. For good, dryland wheat, apply when four to five larvae are found per square foot. Or for excellent dryland or irrigated wheat, apply treatment when nine to ten larvae are found per square foot. Pesticides for treatment of army cutworm can include common ingredients found in Bathroid, Warrior, Proaxis, and Mustang. Army cutworms burrow one to two inches into the soil during cold temperatures for protection, so they are harder to find to get and to get an accurate count on. After larvae have exhausted local food supplies, they may form an army and move in mass in search of other suitable hosts. Hence the name army cutworm.